Okay, good morning. Um, let's say I believe it's June the 1st, and here in North Carolina, it, we have been having a heat wave, and it's been like 96, 95, uh, I think for nine days straight. It's, it's usually supposed to be about in the 80s about now, and I think tomorrow it's going to change. But I was doing a little experiment, and I showed pictures, I think, yesterday about my little plastic bottle irrigation system now normally i don't plant peppers this late because of the heat but my mom had surgery i was kind of behind on some of my planting so i come out here this morning now last night i fixed these now you put i put three small holes in my bottles and then you dig a little hole enough for it to stand up put it beside the plant so my first time only one bottle worked and so I had to make my holes a little bigger I use a small screwdriver but anyway when I come out here this morning now this one's still full but this is the bottle that emptied out last night and so then I had to put bigger holes now this bottles empty and then I got a couple others looks like some come down some come down on this one so I'll I'm going to wait, I don't know if you can see, because of the dew, there's still water in this one right there at that level. And then I have two other here, over here, one emptied out, and then one is still full. So, now I'm not expecting, these are cucumbers that come up with my composting in place. I'm not expecting these cucumbers to do any good, but I'm still just kind of experimenting with my plastic bottle irrigation system because the ground's real wet but I watered last night so I'm still working out the kinks um, I just wanted to show you this so um, I'm hoping it'll work out because when I've been staying with my mom she's had surgery and when I go back home it gets real sunny at my mom's and so I don't want to have to come over here and water every day during the heat hopefully every other day but I'm giving these plants a little boost because I mean I've got you know tomato plants that are already doing well they don't have to be watered every day I got my deal with some tomato plants you know uh, someone told me if you put dill beside your tomato plants and let them flower then there's some kind of wasp or something that will lay oh, if you let them flower then there's a wasp that lays eggs on the tomato worms so that's why I did that normally I do the marigolds and basil that really don't work that good it seems like but i'm gonna try this because i don't use any pesticides so i thought i'd just throw that in here but it's mostly about the plastic bottles so we'll see and uh just let me know what you think talk to you later